Yeah, I forgot this is like the perfect place to farm uh, blood bags. Wait, where did the... Uh... I was over there. Super furry and fluffy like the rest of them. I think human feet are pretty homely. Cats have a wonderful feet. Oh, even the, uh, yeah, okay. Mist. Even the shield protects the damage from swimming. I wonder if that's a way you can farm the experience. There we go, so we don't really need to ever go there. It's like the worst, worst mists. Bigs, nine more blood bags. Mage caps. few of those anyways for our next spell. Uh, coins. All right, let's get more Eider going. Or did he already fill it up? He might have filled it up already. Oh shit, Bambi Cakes! How's it going, Bambi Cakes? Thank you so much for the raid. Hello, hello, hello. One sec here. How's everything going with you? Uh, you doing some Valheim as well? How are you doing with your playthrough? Oh. Welcome, Raiders. So odd noise. Your Mistlands is where we are at right now, too. Yeah, we've been in there a good amount, but we still don't know what the last boss is, which is cool. So I can't wait to see what that is. And, uh, yeah, we're just trying to figure everything out. Oh, uh, Extreme, hello. Thank you so much for the follow. How are you doing today? If anyone doesn't know, I'm Mimi Cows, Cows, or Tyson. I'm from Vancouver, Canada, uh, and I love streaming crafting survival games. Um, colony management games, and just anywhere, any game I can just beat my head against. But, uh, yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this, um, this area. It's a little, it's a little stamina heavy, but they'd love to do it. Randomize it. All right, all right. Let's see what we got here. Toothpaste. I love toothpaste. It would be nice now. Give me a chance to cool down. Honestly, don't really like the mist lands, to be honest. It is a huge difficulty curve, I would say. Um, I can see why people don't like it, because... 
it's like any it's unlike any of the other biomes you have next to no visibility uh it chews to your stamina because you're constantly climbing over stuff uh the enemies are way harder yeah, i'm gonna grab a portal and go check out see if i can find the one all right uh, they're a lot harder, um, I feel like the, like, when you go in at, like, your top strength of any other biome, the enemies going in are not as hard as, like, Mistline, like, they just hit for so much damage, and you're just, yeah, you're, you can't see, you climb up high, you fall to your death, you have no stamina, you come across a hard enemy that can freaking fly, you can't, like, hide from them. There's a lot. But after a certain point, I started to... Uh, I like the aesthetic of it. I thought it looked really cool. But the uh, after, like, gameplay-wise and mechanic-wise, uh, I like it. It's just really tough at the beginning. Like, really tough. Um, I think a trick, if I'm ever to go through this again, is find, like, a good Mistlands. Like, the first one we went into was terrible. Like, we just actually... It's so bad that we just finally checked it out. It's the worst one. It's, like, water. There's, like, no flat land. Um, even with our better gear now, it was just a pain to go through. We, I think the third one we found was a little bit more flat. Um... But yeah, really rough. Really, really rough. But, uh... Yeah. Just like everything... Just everything uh, seems to be heavy resistant to you. To all your moves. Uh, it's definitely a challenge, yeah. But, because it's too easy and get bored. Yeah, but I think, like, when you go into the game, you, like, you play Meadows, and it's, like, it's not, like, an, I'd say an easy game. I think a lot of people kind of struggle with it. And you go into Black Forest, and, like, trolls yeah, are brutal. But they're very, like, similar in, like, flatness. And then, like, me personally, I know a lot of people don't like the swamp. Like, the first time they get into the swamp, it really turned the game off, because the difficulty curve goes up so much. But, yeah. Because you're kind of, same thing, you're, it's flat, but you're, like, wet the entire time, so your stamina recovery is shitty. Um, but I think the biggest trick is trying to get your rested and comfort score up, so you have faster stamina regen. And always make sure you have rested. And in Mistlands, make sure you're constantly putting portals down, so you don't have to, like, go naked until you're finding your body. Okay, sorry, but I gotta run. I'll leave up. Gotta go get my daughter. No worries, Bambi Cakes. Thanks so much for the raid. Uh, guys, check out Bambi Cakes. Playing Valheim. And um, as well in Mistlands. But yeah, take care, uh, Bambi Cakes. And nice seeing you. And uh, have a good day. So we are currently trying to figure out how to find the boss. Which we're assuming is the same way as any other boss. So we've cleared this Mistlands, we've cleared this one, we've cleared this one. I think he's cleared this area. And then, uh... Oh wait, did you clear all this up here? Uh, oh, sorry, ping again? Oh, over there? Yeah. No, no we haven't been up there yet. Interesting. I might go up there anyways. I oh well, I'll go up there to grab more sap and then. Should I still sail or you want to go explore that? Ah, uh, maybe sail. We'll probably need a lot of resources anyways. Oh, we'll grab more food just in case. Have a good stream. We'll do. We'll do. Man, I I want to figure out a way to go east. We've been going all west. If I sail like that. Like this. Um, so we want to go to fire. I don't know which one that is. Do you have a blank portal? 
Oh fuck. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it right now. Okay. I have one with me, I just don't have one at home. Yeah, it's test. Lowercase. Yeah. Getting low on the eyes. And another 20. Oh, it's like, fuck, are we done? There we go, okay. Let's head out. Mm -hmm. right, let's go get more sap. I think I hear the big guy. I do hear the big guy. I don't want to fight him right now. Some friend. Oh, good, they do heal. Uh oh. See him. Oh, I didn't redo my, uh, whatever. My rest. <laughs> Stamina. Pretty sure that is... Can we sneak up on him? Oh. That did so much damage. Forty, we got forty. All right. Um, let's keep going north. You camp often? Um, I would say at minimum. Two times a year. It's hard because it's been less since uh, COVID. But I think we went three times last year. Um. This year we probably would have gone multiple times, but I had like uh, two bachelor parties and two weddings. So that's kind of taken up a lot of time. For the better, that was a lot of fun. Um, 
So I think we're going to try and go in August. And now with like weather kind of changing um, and being warmer longer, we'll usually go in September and October. But yeah, COVID really stirred it up a lot because we had a lot of like annual camping trips with like 30 people. And um, it was a lot of fun. And then when COVID happened to just kind of everyone kind of got out of the groove. I'd love to get it back together again, but. Okay, here's a lot. I need to try and lure some of the bugs here. What do you do at a bachelor party? Um, in one, we went up to Whistler. We did um, just a lot of drinking. Um, a lot of drinking. It kind of just kept it... I, it was a, kind of like a just chill with a lot of guys. Um, 